the Overton Bridge in Scotland remains a mystery due to suicidal dogs. This phenomenon began in the 1950s when people started noticing dogs suddenly and inexplicably jumping off the bridge and falling to their death on the rocks below. The majority of the dogs jumped from almost exactly the same spot, between the two final parapets on the right-hand side of the bridge. Over the past 50 years, around 50 dogs have mysteriously decided to make this grisly leap, with five deaths reported over a six-month period in 2006. But strangely, only long-nosed breeds seem to be affected. Retrievers, Labradors and Collies, with some believing that the irresistible smell of mink is to blame for so many mutts making the jump. Why this exact spot of this exact bridge has caused so many dogs to leap to their deaths remains a mystery. Number 9. The Taos Hum The small town of Taos in New Mexico is haunted by a strange buzz, which many describe as being similar to the sound of a distant diesel engine. It can easily be heard by the naked ear, but sound detection devices such as microphones and VLF antennae are entirely unable to pick it up. To this day, no one knows the origin of the sound or the reason behind this phenomenon. Generally heard only in quiet environments, this low-pitched sound can now be heard in various locations around the globe, ranging from Northern Europe, the USA, and even the UK. And despite a 1997 order from US Congress to investigate the phenomenon, the prestigious research institutes involved were unable to discover anything, and the hum remains one of the world's weirdest unsolved mysteries. Number 8. The Aluminium Wedge of Aoud Found in 1974, the Aluminium Wedge of Aoud was found in a sand trench 10 metres deep in Romania, near the Roman town of Aoud. It was confirmed to be at least 400 years old, which didn't make much sense. Aluminium was discovered in 1808 and not produced in large quantities until the mid-1880s. Stranger still, the wedge was found alongside mastodon bones, an ancient sort of elephant thing that hasn't been alive for at least 11,000 years. The scientific consensus is that the wedge was made on Earth, with its purpose yet to be identified, but many claim the artifact to be proof of an alien visit to Earth. Maybe they accidentally landed their spaceship on a mastodon, which frankly strikes us as being a bit clumsy. Number 7. The Voynich Manuscript Named after the Polish-American book dealer who purchased it in 1912, the Voynich Manuscript is often touted as the world's most mysterious manuscript. A 240-page book is written in an unknown language that is yet to be deciphered, even after a century, leading many to suspect that it may simply be nonsense. But it isn't just the text that doesn't make sense. Alongside abstract astrological drawings, the Voynich manuscript features detailed diagrams of plants that don't match any known species on Earth. The original author of the manuscript remains unknown, but carbon dating does confirm that the pages were created between 1404 and 1438, and printed on calfskin rather than paper. So even if it is a hoax, it definitely isn't a modern one. Some believe the manuscript to be based on medieval medicine, whilst others suggest it to be a pharmacopoeia, which is a type of book dedicated to detailing the production of drugs. Now, there's a case to be made for the latter argument, particularly if the author was dabbling in the fruits of his research a little more often than was perhaps wise. Some theorists have even suggested the book may be of alien origin, with generations of the world's best cryptographers failing to decipher the text of the book. But despite substantial research, no evidence has surfaced, leaving the purpose and nature of this bizarre manuscript a fascinating unsolved mystery. Number 6. The Loch Ness Monster The Loch Ness Monster has never been formally discovered, but has allegedly been sighted a number of times. The unknown animal that inhabits Loch Ness in the Scottish Highlands has baffled scientists for decades, with purported photos of a giant sea serpent living in the murky depths. Nessie became an international sensation after it appeared in the headlines in 1933. The report quoted someone as seeing something that resembled a dragon or prehistoric animal. Nessie was apparently again spotted in 1960, with an aeronautical engineer filmed a moving hump in the water of Loch Ness. Digital enhancements of the footage years later seemingly revealed two more humps, a rear body and flippers. 
Despite the almost celebrity status of the Loch Ness Monster, there haven't been any verified sightings of the creature since the 1920s, which seems blue stones were rearranged into the site that we see today. Even after all this, the meaning of Stonehenge still remains unclear. It could have been an observatory, a burial ground, or maybe just a really nice place to chill out. At this stage, we'll never truly know. Number four, Jack the Ripper. During 1888, East London witnessed a series of horrific murders, most of which occurred in the Whitechapel area. The name Jack the Ripper came from a letter sent to the newspaper at the time from an individual claiming to be behind the murders. The majority of his victims were prostitutes, their throats were cut and bodies severely mutilated, with some of the bodies being discovered just minutes after the killer left the scene. Police at the time had several suspects but lacked the evidence for any formal conviction, leaving history to speculate in often wild ways, with some pointing the finger at Prince Albert Victor, who was Queen Victoria's grandson. The most popular theory is that Jack might have been a doctor or a butcher, based on the evidence of the weapons used and an apparent knowledge of human anatomy. On a side note, Jack wasn't the first serial killer, but he was probably the first to appear in a large metropolis at a time when the general populace had become literate and the press was a force for social change. The Ripper appeared amidst a time of tremendous political turmoil, with many reporting on the crimes in a manner that helped further ulterior agendas. Number three, the WOW signal. Jerry Aymond was a volunteer for the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence project and is believed by some to be the first human being in history to receive a message from an alien world. In 1977, while scanning deep space radio waves, he suddenly witnessed his measurements spiking. The signal was strong and was transmitted from the constellation Sagittarius, which is 120 light years away from Earth, which roughly equates to 126 trillion miles. All attempts to pick up the signal again have since failed, resulting in natural speculation about its meaning and origin. The signal's name was derived from the exclamation of WOW that Jerry wrote in the margin of the transmission's printout. Not exactly the most creative naming in the world there, chaps. Number two, the Bermuda Triangle. Numerous aeroplanes and boats have seemingly disappeared in the ocean between Florida, San Juan and Bermuda, with the area now ominously known as the Bermuda Triangle. Human error, natural disasters, piracy and equipment failure don't seem to be able to account for the mysterious loss of so many craft, leading to intoxicating theories including time warps. The first unsolved event took place during the 1950s. Flight 19 contained a group of five US Navy bombers who were on a training mission. The flight leader purportedly said, We are entering white water. Nothing seems right. We don't know where we are. The water is green. No white. It was later claimed that Navy officials stated the planes flew off to Mars, which frankly seems like a large leap of judgment. All 14 airmen on the flight were lost, as were all 13 crew members of a PBM Mariner, which apparently exploded whilst out searching for the original flight. While a considerable amount of documentation verifies that the actual number has been inflated, there remains no solid explanation for the large number of disappearances in the area. Number 1. Flight MH370 Mystery has continued to surround the fate of Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370, which had 227 passengers and 12 crew members on board. The plane disappeared entirely during a flight from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing on March 8, 2014. Since then, a multinational search and rescue effort, believed to be the largest in history, was initiated in the Gulf of Thailand and the South China Sea. Malaysia Airlines stated that the plane lost contact less than an hour after takeoff, despite no distress signal or message being sent from the aircraft. While climbing to its assigned cruise altitude of 35,000 feet and travelling at 542 miles per hour, it suddenly ceased all communications and the transponder signal was lost. The crew was expected to contact air control in Ho Chi Minh City once the aircraft passed into Vietnamese airspace, which was just north of the point where contact was lost. The captain of another aircraft sought to reach the crew of flight MH370 just after 1.30 a.m. The captain said he established contact, but just heard static and mumbling. Since its disappearance, the search for the aircraft has covered 7.6 million square kilometers. That's equivalent to 11% of the Indian Ocean and 1.5% the surface of the Earth. 
Public communication from Malaysian officials pertaining to the flight's disappearance have been subject to much criticism. The New York Times stated the Malaysian government and the airline released incomplete, imprecise and sometimes inaccurate information, while civilian officials have contradicted messages given by military leaders. The seeds of distrust created by this have led to a number of conspiracy theories involving the Malaysian government, ranging from conventional attacks, hijacking, or a successful attempt to hack the plane's systems. Alternatively, some even believe the flight to have been the victim of an extremely unlucky meteor strike. Two Iranian individuals were travelling on the plane with what turned out to be stolen passports, but investigation suggests no link to terrorist groups. There are also four passengers who checked in for the flight, but didn't show up to the airport. Only time will tell if we'll ever truly find out what happened to flight MH370, but in this day and age it's truly puzzling how a plane can simply vanish without a trace. Unfortunately for the families and friends of those on board, the truth behind the disappearance of flight MH370 may never actually come to light.